allow me to introduce myself first. My name is Sergey Lysin. I am PASS Support and Quality Assurance Engineer, and I will be your host during this webinar dedicated to PASS Hydro System Software and its latest version 4.4. So let's start our webinar with, uh, with a brief overview uh, of who we are, what we are, what software we produce, and what is, what is Hydro System Software made for. Okay. We are the company called Piping System Research Engineering Company, and we produce uh, uh, the whole line, the whole suite, as we call it, suite of different software, different software tools for smart simulation and sizing tools. Our company have 50 plus years of history. We have best in class modern methods and algorithms in our software and built-in libraries. We have a very user-friendly interface of our software and we have very flexible CAD integration. And we also have software with very, very affordable prices, affordable prices and flexible licensing. And our software used worldwide. We have more than 3000 active users currently and it's still growing. These are only few, what you see on the screen, these are, these are only few of our users who choose as software for designing and engineering. Speaking of hydro system, hydro system is piping hydraulic and thermal analysis software, or what usually called as fluid flow analysis software. This program is designed to diameter selection, heat and hydraulic analysis of steady state flow inside pipelines for different type of fluids for gases, liquids, multi-phase, gas-liquid mixtures, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. In, in piping system of any complexity. Piper system is very experienced program, you know, it was first introduced in 1977. Can you imagine that? This year, year of punk rock, <laughs> year where Apple just built, been already born and there was no Microsoft at this point and there was already a first version of Pass Hydro system. At this time, this program, the software was blessed by world-known uh, hydraulic guru, as we call him, guy named Delchik, who was very, uh, very well used to, because you're in hydraulic resistances, hydraulic calculations. So he gave his blessing to pass hydro system software. And currently this program is used by more than 16, uh, 600 companies worldwide. And we, we position it as ideal tool for day-to-day -day operations, for everyday calculations of hydraulic inside piping systems of any, any objects. So what it does, what hydro system is capable of doing? First of all, hydro system performs heat and hydraulic calculation of steady state flow for different types of liquids. So it can be pure liquids, liquid mixtures, et cetera, et cetera, any fluids. It can be gases, pure gases, gas mixtures, it could be gas liquid flow, flashing flow, or frozen flow, gas liquid flow. It could be three phase flow when you have two unmixed liquids and gas. So three phases, gas liquid, liquid mixtures. It also can be a liquid solid mixture, also known as sitting slurry flow. So when you have some solid particles inside liquid. Also, hydro system performs search analysis of transient liquid flow. It performs water, water hammer calculation. So if you need to calculate if you need to find out what, what will happen if you change something inside your piping configuration, you close the valve, turn on or turn off the pump or something like this, you can use this program in this case too. And as I said before, pass hydro system is suitable for piping systems of any complexity. Hydro system can solve different calculation tasks. So in hydro system, you can calculate upstream and downstream pressure drop calculation. You can perform flow distribution calculation if you need to find out how flows will distribute inside your uh, big pipeline with multiple inlets and multiple outlets. It also can perform the piping system nominal size selection. So if you know, want to find out what diameters you need to for your pipeline, you can use hydro system for the same too. Hydro system can uh, have customizable reports with calculation results where you can see all the fluid properties, fluid velocities, all the pressure drops on friction, local losses, static pressure drop, et cetera, et cetera. It can calculate heat losses, flow pattern. If, if we're talking about multi-phase flow, yeah, well, we need to find out what is what flow pattern we have on each and every piping company. Those in calculation results, you can see pressure and temperature in any point of your piping system. 
And in hydro system also, we have a full feature pipeline 3D model representation. So in, working in hydro system, you can view your pipeline like this, a traditional isometric view, or you can choose solid representation, something like this, or you can use some kind of profiles, plans, et cetera, et cetera. You can use raster background, so you can upload some image inside the program and use um, use it as a background for your piping system. You can present the calculation results right on a piping diagram. So if you want to view how temperature, how pressure, how velocity changes across the pipeline, you can see it right on the piping diagram. So the 3D graphics here in Hydro System is very powerful. And Hydro System is a program of very broad applicability. So you can use it for almost any types of pipeline. It's process industry pipelines of different industries, chemical industry, metallurgy, food industry, oil refinery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can use it for different type of utility network pipelines, some heating networks, water networks, natural gas networks. You can use it for oil and gas pipelines of so any, any type of pipelines they can occur in practice. And hydro system has a lot of advantages. Let's talk about the most important of them. First, one of the major important advantage of hydro system is the, the fact that hydro system is very easy to use. You know, it's, it's the one of the simplest program for hydro for fluid flow analysis in pipeline. Even entry level engineers and design can, can work with that program. You don't need to have some additional qualification or some additional knowledge or something like this to work with this program. Usually you can have a three day or basic educational course on our training course on hydro system software or it, took, it takes about three days. So after these three days, you can start performing analysis in, in hydro system. So you don't need to spend weeks, months, even years also, a lot of our users, they don't need no education, they don't need no training at all, so they can figure it out how to work with the program by themselves. So the, the, the program is really very simple and very, very user friendly, even for entry level, as we call them, engineers and designers. Another interesting and major important thing that, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, in hydro system, there is no limitation for pipeline complexity, length, or something like this. You can calculate any piping system exists. So your piping system can consist some loop circles, recycles, et cetera, et cetera. And with every piping system, our program works very, very quickly. So even calculation of most large, most huge piping systems, takes usually about seconds. So allow me to show it to you in the flesh how our program works. I have a couple really interesting examples. For example, here I have some very large pipeline of 160 kilometers long. It's a natural gas pipeline. And the calculation heat and hydraulic analysis of this pipeline takes a second or two. And that's it, it's ready. Here's our calculation results. So even the, the, that large pipeline can be calculated very quick and easily. You can view the calculation results all right on piping diagrams to see how the temperature changes, how the pressure changes, all the things are convenient. Or let's look at this example, this example of steam network. Look at this. Very huge, very complicated pipeline. Once again, if you need to calculate heated hydro, it takes about one, two, three, four, five seconds, Some, something like this, even for this type of huge piping systems. Well, let's look at this one. This one is my favorite. Look at this. It's a technical water circuit of, I believe, some, uh, some power plant or something like this. It consists of hundreds of branches. Look at this. Yeah, very, very complicated piping system. This pipeline will be, will be calculated a little bit longer. Let's, let's look at how, how many times the calculation will take. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty
the calculation algorithm of hydro system is very adapted to the to the very complicated piping system. So hydro system has no limitation on piping complexity. It works quickly, very quickly, and very easily with any type of pipe, any type of piping geometry and topology. Another good thing about hydro system is that hydro system has very strong integration capabilities. So we have a lot of interfaces with different software. First of all, Hydro system has a two-site interface with our another software called Pastar Pro. We will mention this program in our webinar once more. This is the software uh, for piping stress analysis. So if you use Pass Hydro system in Pastar Pro, you don't need to build the piping model twice. You can model it in Hydro system and then export it to Pass Start Pro, or vice versa, you can model it inside Start Pro and then import it into Hydro system. So you don't need to, you don't have to do this thing twice. Also, Hydro system has support of PCF files. Now, what is what is PCF files? PCF files is a piping configuration files, and this files currently supported uh, by a large number of different software. Here you can see the list of um, the most popular software that has PCF support. It's uh, Smart Pump 3D, Autoplant, Autodesk Plan 3D, Cadison, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what is what is support of P PCF files means? This means that when you model your piping system inside any of this program, you have somewhere over there button or option which is called export to PCF or save as PCF or something like this. So you can export your piping system, piping model, all this, all, all its necessary data, all its geometry, lengths, diameters, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in a special file, special fi special file. A file called uh, PCF and Hydro system can import this PCF file. So in this way, you can export your piping system from any of the program supports that supports PCF files to pass Hydro system. So for example, it looks like this. Here I have some example of pipeline system model in, I believe it's Autodesk Plan 3D. And this, this is how it looks in Hydro system. So simply create this file and import it into Hydro system. And also, Besides PCF files in Hydro system, Hydro system has its own neutral format. It's XML files, which allows you to connect Hydro system with, you know, with any software for where you store your data on your piping system. So if you have any program where you already have built the models of your piping system, you can make some generate make some converter that will export data on your piping system in a special neutral format files. And then you upload this neutral format files straight in Hydro system. And once again, you have a full model of your piping. For example, we did, we our own did a special interfaces using XML neutral format files. We made interfaces with, firstly, uh, with Autodesk Revit. So if you use Autodesk Revit, you can simply export model of your piping system from after desk Revit using these XML files right into the Hydro system. And also if you use Aviva software, Aviva PDMS, Aviva E3D, Aviva Marine, then you can do the same. You can export your models, piping models from this software, from PDMS, from A3D into special neutral format files and then import it into Hydro system to perform hydraulic calculation. And you can do such conversions yourself too. So you can make a connection of Hydro system with any other software using the XML files. And also Hydro system is capable of ex exporting files. You can export DXF files. Here they are. The files with drawings. So if you want to get a good high quality drawing of your piping system modeled in Hydro system or imported from anywhere from PCF, from Start, uh, for, from Start Pro, from XML or, or from other software. You can then export it from Hydro system in form of DXF drawing. So Hydro system has very, very, very huge amount of different integration capabilities. Another good thing about Hydro system is fluid properties and equilibrium calculation. Uh, because here in Hydro system, we have a number of built-in libraries, thermodynamic libraries for fluid properties and equilibrium calculation. Usually when you buy some software for, for fluid flow analysis, you have a small built-in database with a couple of hundreds or a couple of, a couple of dozens of different most popular fluids, yeah? And you're capable to calculate those fluids and their matrix. In Hydro system, we have a several different libraries. First of all, it's a library called WaterSteam Pro. It's a special library that allows 
calculation of water and steam properties in equilibrium calculation basing famous IAPWS IF97 equations. Also, we have a special library called GRG 2008 library for natural gas properties and phase equilibrium calculation, which allows you to calculate natural gas of any content, any compositions. And we have our main instrument, main library, we call it STARS library. STARS library allows you to calculate properties and phase equilibrium for over 1600 of different substances and their mixes. And you know, that is huge, 1600s, it's a, it's a lot of components. And also STARS library allows you to, to, to model different pseudo components. So for example, if you wanna calculate oils or oil fractions, you can use STARS library for this answer. So in hydro system, you can, of course, you can, if you know your property, fluid properties already, if you already calculated them, you can manually enter them in hydro system and it will, perform calculation for this fluid. But if you don't know the properties or if the properties changes in the pipeline during the, during the fluid flow course, then the best way to model this fluid is by setting up its composition. So you simply specify what fluids contain your, what, what components are, excuse me, what components are inside your fluid and what the composition. And the program will calculate will calculate fluid properties on the go. Also, hydro system had, has integration with seamless thermodynamics and PVT sim. It's an additional software libraries that allows to calculate fluid properties equilibrium. The only thing there, unfortunately, then they're not included in hydro system, so you should purchase, purchase them separately. So if you need to more fluids, more components, you can use this additional software too. Another good interesting thing about pass hydro system is search analysis, search calculation, or calculation of trains in flow. In hydro system, you can not only calculate the, high, uh, the trains in flow, trains in liquid flow, you can also view it right on the piping diagram. It looks like this. You can calculate the forces between two points if you want to use them in a stress analysis. Well, allow me to not, not tell you about it. Allow me to show it to you in the flesh how it looks in hydro system. Here I have some examples of water hammer, water hammer analysis or analysis of trains in flow. Here we have some piping system which, in which a fluid comes from point over here to the point over here. And we have here a valve. So let's first calculate how this fluid works, how this pipeline works normally. It works like this. So we have this flow rates, these velocities, these pressure drops, et cetera, et cetera. And then let's calculate what will happen if we momentarily close this valve. Okay, so we set up that valve is closing momentary and we perform, we start Wotzheimer analysis. When you calculate Wotzheimer, you can switch on the view of the waves of pressure waves to see how them travel, how them travel inside your pipeline. It's very interesting. It looks look like this. It looks like this. Bang! You can see how how they travel across the piping system, back and forth, back and forth. Red is a high pressure, blue is a low pressure, green is intermediate pressure. So you can follow the waves here. Okay. And when the calculation is done, it takes about a couple of seconds to run this calculation. You can capable to see what is happening at each point of your pipeline, how the pressure changes, how the flow rates changes, and you can also calculate the forces between two different points of your pipeline. Why why do we need this? Uh, I will tell you in a in a minute. Okay, calculation is done. Let's look at the calculation results. Let's look, for example, pressure charts charts of pressure. Well, it looks like this, yeah. Uh, the blue line is L1 point, the orange line is L2 point, and after valve, it's a gray line that shows us how pressure changes in this piping system. As you can see, the, the pressure became negative in some points. How to, how to deal with this, we'll discuss a little bit later. And after the calculation is done, if you want to find out what will happen during trends in flow, will you um, find the movement of pipeline, the movements of pipeline? You can do it. It you can do it, it, it not in hydro system. You need a special 
a special stress analysis software for this case, but Hydro system can help you to transfer all the required data for stress analysis of water hand forces inside your pipeline to apply them in a different software for stress analysis. It's first of all, our own software called Star Pro. And also we can generate data for Kaiser 2. So if you use this or this stress analysis software, Hydro system can also help you to calculate these forces. For example, let's export forces between elbow two and elbow, two, elbow one and elbow two dots to Kaiser, for example. There's a cavitation being occurred. Oh, okay. Uh, problem warns me that the calculation may, may, may not be very accurate because the pressure was too negative. Okay. We saw that. So you specify what uh, couples of points you want to export and export it to, to special FRC file of you. You're given the name. Sorry. Oh, it's done. And also, you can export this data to our own Star Pro software. Again, warning about cavitation. Okay, we saw that. And if you want to find out how to apply these forces to stress analysis past Star Pro software, we have a special dedicated to this thing video on our official YouTube channel. At the end of this webinar, I will give you the link to our, to our YouTube channel, so you don't need to write it down below. Uh, but if you visit our YouTube channel in the list of video, you will find a video like this. It is called Pipe Stress Analysis from Water Hammer Loads, which describes how to, how these two programs work together, how first perform per stress, stress analysis and start prof, prof, then export this piping geometry in hydro system over here, perform calculation of physiothermal frog, calculation of water hammer, and this is the water handle calculation. And after that, you export these forces into Star Prof. And you then apply them in Star Prof to find out what will happen with your pipeline if the water handle occurs, if your transit flow occurs. Sometimes it could be very bad, something like this. <laughs> yeah, so your pipeline moving not good. Those you need to, yeah, looks like this. You need to add some additional supports, additional supports. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very bad, very bad movement and stresses. So we add some supports. It's better now. It's better, not good, but better. We add more supports, more supports, more supports. And finally, finally, everything is work, working fine. So if you want to find more details on this, this, this program works together. At the end of the webinar, I will give you a link to our YouTube channel where you can find this great video that shows you how you can use this two software together. So let's get back to our water hammer. We saw that cavitation occurred. Huh? Yeah, uh, the, the pressure was too low. In this case, to take into account cavitation, you can switch it on in water hammer calculation settings. We have a special option called consider cavitation. Press the dot. And after that, you simply need to recalculate, perform the calculation once more. In this time, the calculation will be more precise. You will take into account cavitation. You can view cavitation right on the piping diagram, diagram as we saw before for the um, uh, pressure waves. Yeah, we have, we can see cavitation too. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, small amount, but, but we have some. The problem is that when cavitation occurs, sometimes the cavity, the cavity uh, disappearance when uh, cavitation bubbles uh, uh, condense to the liquid, it may cause a secondary, secondary waves of water hammer. And sometimes they can be very strong, so very big, very powerful. So you need to take into account this in your calculation. The hydro system is capable of calculating it and taking into account this a secondary water hammer waves too. So let's have calculation can be done. Okay, just a second or two. Okay, it's done. And now we can view a cavitation charts to find out how many fluid was boiled up. Not too many, but some in some points, in some points in time, we have a lot of cavitation volume too. And we can find out what, how it causes the water hammer because this cavitation affects not only the power of water hammer, it affects 
the wave speed. Uh, so should be taken into account too. Oh, look like this. Look at this. Look at this fluctuations that goes by cavitation. So here in pass hydro system, you can consider all this very important effect during your calculations. Okay, then let's proceed. And let's talk about another interesting topic, about two-phase flow pattern calculation. As we mentioned earlier, how the hydro system can be capable of calculating not only single phase flow, not only gas flow, liquid flow, it also capable of calculating two-phase flow, gas-liquid mixtures, and even three-phase flow when you have two unmixed liquids and a gas flow together. And one of the most important tasks for this type of flow, it's not cal calculating of pressure drops or something like this. It's important too, but the most important part of, of calculation of this flow is to calculate, to find out what flow pattern will we have at each pipe and component. In hydro system, you can solve this task too. Hydro system can calculate, can find out, can tell you what um, flow pattern you will have at each piping component inside your pipeline. And also, it can draw you this thing we call flow pattern map or flow pattern, flow pattern diagram, which can show you where you located inside this diagram and even what to do to escape some undesired, for example, to escape slack flow or something like this. Once again, I, uh, I'd like to show you a demo example of this calculation. Okay, I have, uh, I have a few refinement to phase flow, something like this. We have uh, liquid and gas together inside this pipeline. Let me perform this calculation. Okay, it's done. And after calculation is done, calculation of two-phase flow, you can view in calculation results over here. What flow pattern do we have on each and every piping component of this pipeline? And moreover, you can view this, pipe, uh, this flow pattern right on the piping diagram. And by clicking any piping component in this piping diagram, you can view the flow pattern map for this specific pipe. And here you can see you have a different methods, different methods of flow pattern calculation. You have cl classic traditional methods like title Beckler or like Bernier. And you have some more modern, some interesting methods like Petalus Aziz. Here we have unified model by TUFFP, also University Fluid Flow Project. Very interesting, very promising methods. And you can switch between, between them and perform calculation using different models. It's, it's very important in case of when you have some boundary, boundary when you're on the boundary between two, two flow patterns, for example, here in this vertical pipe. One method show you that you have intermittent flow, which means charm flow or slack flow or something like this. The other methods will tell you that everything's fine <laughs> and we have annular flow. So if you want to ensure that you have no problem in your pipeline, you should check the flow pattern calculation using different models, different methods. In a hydro system, can easily, in hydro system you can easily do that. Another interesting thing about two-phase flow, flow pattern calculation is uh, the phenomena that which is called severe slagging, severe slagging in hydro system, you can prognose, you can calculate severe slagging too. Well, I want to show you on another example. I have example of three phase flow, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's three phase flow. It's look at this. It's oil plus water plus natural gas. Uh, a piping configuration, of quite simple configuration. And when I calculate this pipeline, the, pro the program warns me. It says that severe slagging flow may occur in the pipeline. Let's look at this. Why is it happening? Yeah, indeed. The purple color means that we have a severe slagging flow. So if you want to prevent severe slagging flow, if, or if you simply want to find out whether it's, it will be or not, you can use hydro system for the same too. It prognoses not only the, let's say, steady state flow patterns, but also this interesting phenomena as severe slagging flow and everything. That is available here in Pass Hydro system. Let's continue, and, I, and, and let's say a couple of words about configuration and licensing. Here in Hydro system, we have a very flexible licensing policy, so we have a different modules. Which, which of uh, each of this model module is designed for is um, intended to perform one type of calculation, one type of analysis. For example, Hydro model allows you to perform isothermal analysis. 
Uh, thermal model allows you to perform heat and hydraulic analysis. Search model allows you to perform transient liquid flow, et cetera, et cetera. So every user can buy only those models that you need. We have uh, several configuration, which consists of, consists of different modules. So you can uh, have a hydro system only for pressure calculation for single, single phase flow, steady, phase, steady state flow analysis. Or you can have hydro system pressure and heat for single phase steady state flow, but not only uh, hydraulic, but also thermal analysis, et cetera, et cetera. You can have additional models for multi-phase flow, for solid phase, for search flow, you can, you can complete. Also, all these models modules that over here down below, marked in gray, these models modules are free. So no matter what configuration you decide to have, these models will, will be available for you for free. They included in any configuration of hydro system. And now let's continue our talk with um, a description with overview of a newest, latest version of PASS Hydro System, PASS Hydro System 4.4. We have a very interesting additional new features in this version. Allow me to show to you what these features are. The first and very important, very interesting feature in PASS Hydro System 4.4, we added a new improved model of centrifugal pump strip and startup at search or transient flow analysis. For those who don't know, previously Hydro System also been capable to, of calculating uh, water hammer caused by pump strip and pump startup, but we used to have a very simplified uh, pumps model. Uh, it was uh, a little bit simplified, but now, now starting with version 4.4, we have a full deal centrifugal pumps model. It, this model is based on famous Sutter curves, experimental curves of different pumping operation zones. And this model considers all possible pump operation zones like normal pumping mode, turbine mode, pump dissipation mode, turbine dissipation mode. And one important thing, this model that we use for a centrifugal pump pumps model requires minimum data for simulation. Once again, allow me to show to you live in the form of demo. I have examples for a couple of interesting situation, interesting piping systems. First, look at this piping system. It's, it's very simple. We have tank number one and tank number two over here. And we have pump that, uh, that is pumping uh, liquid from tank one to tank two. But initially our pump is turned off and this gate valve over here is closed. So everything is closed, nothing's working. And what we're gonna do, we first will calculate the immobile flow. Look at this. The steady state flow calculation shows us that there is no inside this pipeline, no flow rate, no density, no velocity, nothing. And now let's calculate what will happen if we first turn on this pump and then second, we open this gate valve, but not momentarily, but in, a, I don't remember, in a, in a 40 seconds, in a 40 seconds after the pump is switched on. So first pump is turning on. After that, the gate valve opens up. To model the pump, here in hydro system. To perform search analysis for this pump, all you need to specify is pump data of head versus flow, head versus flow chart, simple chart which you can find in pumping data. And you need to specify the pump runtime. So how fast your pump trips or startup. And that's it, you, know, you don't need anything else. So we calculate first steady state flow. And then after that, I will perform search analysis, what's a hammer analysis. It will take a couple of seconds to, to make it through. And we're gonna find out what happens, first of all, before this pump. Here we have point before pump, and we have a point after pump somewhere over here between pump and open valve. So we're gonna see how this pump turn on on the closed valve. And then we open this valve and let's see how this pressure will change during this valve opening. Okay, just a few seconds more, more, bang, it's done. And look at, let's look at the pressure charts. Pressure charts look like this. 
the orange graph, the orange curve is after pump, the blue curve is what before pump. After pump, look at this, uh, first seconds, there's nothing happening here in this point, our pump starts to turn on. And for three seconds, yeah, look, the pressure rises at a very, very high, high peak. After that, everything stabilizes to normal, normal pump head um, for closed valve. And here we open this valve about 40 seconds and pressure going down. So we finally come to steady state flow where this pump is working and the gate valve is open. So if you want to calculate these processes now in harder system, you can do it very quick, uh, very quickly and very easily. And another interesting example, let's look, allow me to show it to you. Another very interesting example. It's a very similar, uh, similar task, very similar uh, model. We also have tank number one, tank number two, and pump that pumping from tank number one to tank number two. But interesting thing is that this time everything is working. The pump is turned on, the gate valve is open. But first of all, we have no check valve in here. There is no check valve after the pump. And then, and secondly, we're going to turn off our pump and we're going to find out what will happen if we turn off this pump, what will happen with the fluid in this pipeline. The interesting thing about this piping model is that we have a big, huge rise over here on this pipe. Look at here. Look, we have a 35 meters up. So this pipe go very good, goes very, very high, which means that when we're going to turn off this pump, the fluid may go backwards through your pump from tank two, this time from tank two to tank number one. So even if you want to calculate this not good situations, you can do it in hydro system very quick and easily. Allow me to do it here. Once again, I perform first perform a steady state flow analysis to find out how my piping system operates normally. Normally it operates like this. So this is my flow rate, this is my velocities, et cetera, et cetera. And now I perform what's happening in analysis to calculate what will happen when I turn off this pump. I don't have check valve, the fluid go backwards. So let's, let's find out what will happen. Okay, a couple of seconds more. I wish you can hear how the fans inside my laptop are screaming right now <laughs> because the calculation is very tough. Okay, yeah, it's done. And now let's look not look uh, let, let's look not uh, on the uh, pump uh, not on the pressure charts. Let's look at the flow charts to see how the flow changes during this transient process. So here we are. We start with this initial flow rate in here, about three hundred or something uh, cubic meters per hour, and then we start to turn off our pump, and it goes here, 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 here. Finally, the flow stabilizes to negative value about 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 one hundred cubic meters per hour. So this amount of fluid will flow through our turned off pump backwards. So if you want to calculate even this type of strange cases of piping operating, you can easily do it here in hydro system. Okay, let's proceed and let's talk about another interesting option. It's a calculation of choked and near choked flow inside pipeline here in hydro system we uh, we used to have possibilities of choked and near choked flow calculation but now starting with hydro system version 4.4 we can also calculate the choked flow including the choked flow with phase transition so for example if you have a huge pressure drop on elements with choked flow uh, some kind of pipe exits or reducers or contraction inspection etc uh, then the phase transition can occur for, for example, from liquid to two phase or from two phase to gas. And this time the calculation is very, very complicated. And now starting from this version of hydro system, we can perform this analysis too. So allow me to show it to you again, once again. In a demo, here I have some simple example of this type of fluid flow. Here I have uh, a mixture of hydrocarbons, butane, pentane, et cetera, et cetera, and this type of pipeline. 
one pipe, reducer, another pipe, and pipe exit, etc. That's it. And when I perform heat and hydraulic calculation, here I have some additional messages. So the program warns me that, first of all, I have chopped all occurred on some piping component. Let's find out which one. And I have a transition from two phase to vapor state on the zero meter from, from the same piping component. Now the program talks about this reducer. So if I open the calculation results, yes, indeed, look at this. Look at the Mach number over here. What, sorry. Let's look at the Mach number over here. It equals one at the beginning of reducer. And we have phase transition. So the vapor phase was we have it, we had a two-phase flow, now we had a pure gas flow. So if you calculate, for example, some kind of flare system or something like this, now starting with hydro system 4.4, you can model such complicated things as the choked flow or near choked flow with phase transition, with phase transitions. Currently it's in beta testing mode. So we have something that the program is not capable of doing. For example, we're not calculating choked flow with phase transitions in Orifix and other companies, but you know, uh, the most uh, the, uh, the phase transitions of practical interest are already already implemented, so you can calculate these cases in program right now. Uh, another important improvement here in FlatPass Hydro System version 4.4 is that we have now group operations, so you can change piping geometry very quickly by selecting multiple components, multiple branches or multiple pipes or multiple whatever piping components and simultaneously change some of them parameters, diameters, temperatures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can do it now very, very quickly. Again, we have new improved integration with seamless thermodynamics. Now we have more detailed th thermodynamic model adjustment possibilities added here in Hydro System. So for those who use seamless thermodynamics from Hydro System, you have more flexibility now. We added a new feature of automatic recalculation of sample components from STARS library to seamless thermodynamics. For example, if you used to use STARS library and you have already built in a lot of pseudo components, so you don't need to re-answer re them using another library right now. You can simply switch from one library to another and the program will recalculate all the necessary properties. Now that we have an improvement of the parameter selection services, it's our goal seek analysis. We added a dynamic view of the parameter selection programs, which indicates uh, the number of current iteration, the current progress, and the current, even the current values of control parameters. I guess we have time. Yeah, we have time. I love it to show it to you too, because it's very, very, very interesting and very, very useful feature. For example, here in this pipeline, this piping system, I have one inlet and three outlets over here, over here, and over here. And I've installed in this pipeline, here I have an orific, here I have a butterfly valve, and here I have a control valve, some, some control valve. And these three devices used to regulate, to control the pressure over here, the pressure over here and the pressure over here. So my calculation task is that I need to find out how I need to set up all these three devices to provide the pressure of 0 0.8 megapascals at each outlet of this pump pipeline. 0 0.8 here, 0 0.8 here, 0 0.8 here. We used to have this analysis in hydro system. We have it for years. And now the program not only calculate, not, not only calculates all the required settings of this company, they can show it to you right in, in real time mode. So let me open here control target parameters and let's look how program will calculate these parameters. So we start calculation and now look at this. Yeah, they're switching, they're turning, they're moving, 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 moving. More, 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 more. And fine. Oh, no, not more. More, 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 more. Oh, okay. And it's done. And it's done. Oh, yeah. We received required value. Okay, once again, let me show it to you again. Simply start the calculation and then program start with some values and selects the required 
parameters of uh, required control parameters to provide the required target parameters of my pipeline, my brushes. And here we have a number of iteration here, once again, here we have the program shows us number of current iter iteration. Here we have a progress bar, so we can even stop calculation, not waiting. If you see that calculation takes a long time, you can interrupt it and say, okay, I will change something. So the calculation will perform a little bit quickly. Now you can, you can see it right here in the calculation results. Very, very interesting, very important feature. And we have a lot more improvements. There's a lot of them actually, you know, it's not enough, not, not two, not one, not two, not three slides are enough to mention every improvement that we have here in Hydra system. There's a lot of them. We constantly working on improvement of Hydra system. So when you install a new version of any of our program, specifically plus Hydra system, you make sure that you have a lot of new interesting feature. So, this new version of Pass Hydro system is out in near days, so don't forget to download this new version from our website when it's available. Our website is passu.com Hydro system, or you can use this QR code over here, or you can simply turn on the automatic updates in Hydro system settings to get this software updates automatically. So the program, when you're going to run the program, it will automatically check the updates, download them, and install them automatically. If you're not a Pass Hydro System user, demand free trial on our website, passu.com trial, or use this QR code. Everyone can get for 30 days a full free trial of our Hydro System. So if you want to find out whether it's suitable for you or not, perform some calculations to find out is it good enough for you or not, or you need something more, you have a 30 days trial. So check it, check it on your own. And for more interesting lectures and for more webinar, please visit and subscribe our YouTube channel over here. Once again, or use QR code or this link below because we usually have very interesting events, lectures, webinars like this. So stay tuned to our frequency. And at this moment, I would like to thank you for participating to our webinar. Hope you enjoy the show. 